Wishlist member has so many payment systems that you can add on to your membership website. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to connect Wishlist member and Thrivecart coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Thrivecart and Wishlist member. Let me show you how. So over here now, I'm on my WordPress admin dashboard. So I'm going to head over here now to Wishlist member. So I just want to show you where everything is here. So I'm just going to click here on dashboard and then I'm going to come over here to setup. So here on the third item down, we have, we have integration. So I'm going to click on that. Now, as you can see here, we have so many payment providers. So you can see here we have UltraCard. In fact, to be honest, I've never used or never heard of uh, some of these payment uh, providers. But the one that we're going to focus on is Thrivecart. So what we're going to do here is to just click here on Thrivecart and activate it. Okay. So now you can see here we have this API key and we also have this WordPress URL. This is what we're going to need to connect with Thrivecart. So I'm already signed up with Thrivecart. So if you want to use it, you have to uh, make sure that you sign up with Thrivecart. It's a paid platform. So I'm going to come over here now and just go to Thrivecart and log in. So I'm going to click here to sign in, add my email address, and then I'm just going to log into my account. All right, so now that I'm logged into my Thrivecart dashboard, the next step is to come over here to the top right, click on this drop down, and click on settings. So this is where we are going to click on integrations and find where Wishlist member is. So as you can see here, there are so many ways to integrate Thrivecart uh, with our system, but in this case, I really want to integrate this with Wishlist member. So over here, I'm just going to click on view settings, and then I'm going to click on edit. So already you can see here that I've already added my information. So back over here, what you want to do is to get this WordPress URL. So I've copied that and paste it in here. And then over here back, there's the API key. So when, once you copy this API key, you can then paste it over here. And then once that's done, you can save this site. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I don't need to, um, to save this. So now that we've done the integration, we've taken the API key from Wishlist member and added it onto Thrivecart. So how does this really work then? So here's how it works and it's really exciting. So what you want to do is to make sure that you've set up your membership levels in Wishlist member. And then we're going to go in and uh, choose a product so that when someone buys this product using Thrivecart, they are going to be added automatically to whatever membership level they signed up for. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So over here on our site, if I go back to my dashboard here, you're going to see that we already have membership level. So we have gold, silver, and VIP. Now over here on Thrivecart, we're going to create a product and then link it to one of our products, okay? So to uh, add a new product, you're just gonna come over here to products. Right, so over here on the products, I'm gonna create a brand new product. So let's call this test. Then I'm gonna click on create product and this is going to be a digital. So I'm gonna say create new product. So here is where you have to go in and fill in all the details about the product. So um, product name, I'm just gonna call this test product. And then I'll just leave this URL as it is. Then I'm gonna hit next. So here is the pricing. So um, we can set our price. So let's say this one-time fee, uh, I mean, it can be whatever it is. I'll put $19 here, next, and save this. All right, so the next step here is to add our bump offers, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. We just need to uh, set up all this. Okay, so over here, payment processors, I'm gonna come over here and I can say, okay, uh, I wanna use Stripe. And by the way, for this to work, you have to make sure that you connect your Stripe or PayPal or whatever accounts that you have. You have to set them up first, link them up with Thrivecart in order for you to take payment. So that's very, very important. I'd forgotten to mention that, okay? Right, so let's say I'm going with Thrivecart here. I'm gonna hit save and then hit next. I don't have any affiliates. Okay, so that's fine. So here's the thing. We now have a question here on what happens after the purchase, right? So if I click on this drop down here, now we have an option to add them to a membership site. So if I click here, you can see on this drop down we have wish list. So I can choose wish list here. And my site here is funnels to income. And I've already set it up during that setup process. Now over here we can say select the membership level to apply 
for a purchase. So this is where now I can choose my membership level. Now, in my case here, I've just chosen VIP. And then you can also say revoke access when the customer cancels all refunds. Now, this is advisable if you have an option where they are paying monthly, weekly, or even every year. So when they cancel, you want to make sure that the uh, membership discontinues. Okay. So I've selected VIP here. Login URL. This is again where you can add your login URL. So this could be a URL which goes to the registration page. And I've also done some uh, videos to show you how to do that registration page. But let me just show you quickly where you can find this. So if I go into my membership here, I'm just going to go to a setup and go to my membership levels. So here on the membership levels, I can just copy one of these levels, uh, the URL for the levels for them to register. So let's say I uh, come over here to VIP membership, which is what I've chosen. I'm going to click here on this pencil icon. And this now is going to take me to the settings of this membership level. So here is where I need to choose that URL. So I'm going to come over here to registrations. And then this is the URL that you want to copy. So I'm just going to hit command C back over here on Thrivecart. I'm just going to paste it over here. Command V. And this is where they register. Okay. So pretty much this is what I need to do. If you need to add a support email address, you can just add it over here. But this is how it works. And this is how the integration works. This is really, really cool. Because as soon as someone buys using Thrivecart, they are going to be added onto that membership level. And we can also add a uh, login URL. And this is optional, by the way, you don't really have to have this here if you don't need to have it there. So once you've added your email address, you just want to hit next and then your product is up and running. So now at this stage, you can now sell your uh, membership levels using Thrivecard. And as you can see, this is a very, very straightforward way to set it up. But I would advise you to test it first and make sure everything is working okay. But in a nutshell, this is how you set up your uh, Thrivecard with Wishlist member. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.